So for this week's project, I shall be sheet this from this. And this is a prime example of having something in mind, but letting the piece of furniture take the lead. It had a really gaudy, thick layer of pink paint, which to be honest, I don't mind paint, but it was all over and I really needed to tone it down. And the paint job was a bit too slapdash for me, but I had to pick this up because it was solid pine and I knew it was a really good, sturdy piece. So the first thing I had to do was to completely take off the thick paint on the top. I got my belt sander out and uh, I really don't know how to control this thing. Um, but it did rip the paint right off but I did have a few problems with it. It started to smoke and I ended up chucking it away and my dad told me I shouldn't have done it, I should have just adjusted the setting but that's how much it took off. Luckily he's got me another one. This is needed. So I had to downgrade to my next sander which took so long and I was running out of low grit sandpaper. So I had to nip to tool station to top up and it did keep tearing. Next time I'm going to get Hessian sandpaper because apparently according to my dad who's a carpenter it won't tear. But this is the cheapest stuff I can find if you just want some general sandpaper. So I had to go at it again, sanding down. And of course it took longer than I anticipated. So out of some desperation I raided my shed and I found this paint and varnish stripper. I totally forgot I bought it. Well strangely enough this was the only time I got out a paintbrush. So you apply this stuff on really thick and generously and you can see it's actually transferring to the paintbrush. But annoyingly I lost some footage of how it came off. But you've got to leave it outside to air, especially if you've got pets. And it came off like a gum. And all I did was rub really hard and dark wax it with my favourite Annie Sloan dark wax. And now onto the legs. I was going to completely strip the paint my calf but because the top took so long I decided just to make the most out of a bad situation completely rough up the paintwork for a rustic shabby sheet look and really heavily distress the edges and then to polish it I'm really loving this 151 metal polish wadding at the minute again another find in my shed didn't know I had it but it buffs paintwork really well and the harder you press it will actually distress it a little bit and this only cost a pound this is a great alternative to a lint free cloth and there you go so I'm really pleased with that it didn't take forever in a day and it's nice not having to paint something for once so I hope you like that tutorial and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and also go and check out my blog which is vickysvintage.wordpress.com because they also do blog posts all the time as well thanks for watching bye